the wages of sin is death five kinds of death sin brings into our lives number 1 the physical death i know of a man who was who was just almost bent like that in i forgot that village name in yellur diocese those days i had gone for preaching i and three more people we were talking to that person young man he was bent like this with that only he, he of course for the sugar can he will be bending like this only he can't lift it up somebody has to come and lift it up his work is only to cut and by cutting like this without knowing he cut kid on the hand so he was pleading he was sitting there one sister chinnamma and lucy we all had gone to uh, that village so we were there as i was preaching and coming i saw this lady i called this sister chinnamma i saw this man sitting like this bending and as we were praying god was revealing that this man as a young boy was eloped with two three girls he, he was a very hectic boy very strong boy and god's curse fell on him sin maybe certain girls might have cried their mothers might have cried he said two three girls he made pregnant and he never used to bother everybody used to be afraid of him and suddenly one day morning when he caught up he could not raise up which is of sin and when we when he was talking about his own sin we told him the book of proverbs 18:23 says one who covers up his sin will not prosper if you repent for your sin and return back to god god's mercy will come upon you our god is a god of mercy he cried he cried and after we all were praying suddenly i saw my hands are being lifted up i was placing on the head and so many people are raising on his body suddenly i saw my hand is lifted up i saw the boy who was bending raising 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 and he stood with my own eyes i saw that miracle i am sure that boy may be living even now yes when you your sin will meet your flesh many people die physically because of their sin four people brought a man paralyzed man to jesus as soon as jesus saw he knew this man's paralysis came because of his sin he said my son your sins are forgiven only when the sins were forgiven then he said get up he could be able to get up sin binds us sin binds us and keeps us in bondage that's what we read in james sin will bind you there is evil force behind every sin of ours so stand against it 47 stand against it tell to your own body speak to your evil force get out of my life how long you are playing with me how long you are destroying me get out of my life each one of us how to speak to the evil force and chase them away stand out and speak to the evil force life means prayer means not only speaking to the holy spirit but also speaking to the evil force and then surrender to god after chasing away the evil submit to god draw close to god and god will draw close to you 
many people don't try to give up the evil they don't want to give up the wrong relationship they say i am sorry lord i have hurt you i am sorry lord i have entered into the wrong relationship because many times people are suffering in the world because of toxic in the body when the toxic is there in the body you get into sick and when you remove the toxic once again you get back the same way you have to remove this toxic toxic relationship toxic thinking toxic if you you have to cut off people love to be in struggle rather than throwing away those element that makes them toxic they don't want the wages of sin is death and physically they die all kinds of sickness the children are formed deformed the physical the family is dying the wages of sin is death economically the money never stays with you even if the money stays that doesn't bring happiness to you no peace to you wages of sin is death economical death family death husband and wife cannot stay together they cannot love each other so much of disturbance between husband and wife blaming each other every day fighting struggle wages of sin is death physical death economical death family death and above all the mental death the mind cannot think properly or small things it will get angry what happened your mind mind is being possessed by another spirit we are formed in love because god loved us he gave us his son jesus because he loved us he gave us the holy spirit to be with us all the days of our life he said in john's gospel chapter 14 verse 15 onwards i will not leave you orphan i will ask the father for my holy spirit who will be with you forever that is the design of god don't lose him don't lose him out of his love for you he has given his spirit holding on to the world holding on to the lust of this world don't lose that is permanent and life giving god's own spirit bible says genesis 3 verse 6 god's spirit will not remain with man forever don't take god's spirit for granted god's spirit will not remain with man forever if you play around as you wish yes but which is of sin is death so in order to remove sin according to the word of god the blood has to be shed yes that's what we read in the book of hebrews chapter 9 it says verse 12 onwards it says without the shedding of the blood there is no forgiveness so if really your sin has to be forgiven somebody has to shed the blood and that blood should be without sin so who is there in the world to bring the blood without sin he entered once and for all in the sanctuary not with the blood of goats and calves but with his own blood obtaining eternal redemption for if the blood of the goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a hair ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed no he says 914 a wonderful 
wonderful sacrifice of god is given here how much more will the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself the holy spirit made him to offer himself unblemished to god for what to cleanse our consciences from the dead works to worship the living god our mind always works on with the dead works if i go there why should i go i will just kick her and go mind will work with the dead works 